Next up on our list is Verde, the second of the movie writers. The third being Ryuga, but we're not going to see him for a while, so, you know. The only thing I remember about Verde is that he was weird, unique, and... Let's see, what does he have? All right, so he's got his advent card, which is his chameleon. He has, I think this is a strike vent. I don't actually know what it is, but it's another long range attack, which is dope. Uh, but I think in the show, he actually uses it as a bola instead of a uh, yo-yo like he does in the game. And then he has one of the more useless advent cards where he can just go invisible, except you can still totally see him. And I don't know how this affects the AI or not. He does, however, have one of my cooler, uh, what I think cooler finishing moves. It doesn't make sense logistically, but I mean, he fucking plants a person's face in the ground. So, that's cool. Especially in, like, the movie, where it's just... The body just sits there for a second, then flumps over. God. It's also one of the rare cases where I don't think they don't explode. Thinking on it now. I'm hoping the chameleon's, like teleporting stuff shows up because of how like emulation stuff would work or emulation and recording oh, fuck you uh and recording works i can't tell if this is actually working i can't tell if it's just because she's like one of the starting people or if it's because like the invisibility actually helps I genuinely have no idea. I'll have to experiment with that. Probably like in uh, later rounds, we'll actually see if that really works or not. Alright, let's actually get some distance and use my strike vent. Or whatever the hell it is. As I've shown, anything that has range is OP in this fucking game. So, of course, him having the second longest range, I'd say, it's only downplayed by the fact that he has that he gets uh, progressively closer as he attacks with it, unlike, say, Zolda, who can just shoot his guns and just keep someone infinitely, like, stun-locked in a position. All right, scissor. Now we're gonna test my theory. I'm gonna use. Yeah, see, I can't tell if it makes any difference. It, it doesn't really feel like it makes a difference. It just feels like an inconvenience. Shit, I didn't mean to use this. Oh well. Fine by me. <laughs> Although that does get rid of my weapon, so that's kind of a problem. There we go. I guess maybe using uh, quick attacks is the best way when you don't have a weapon. I'm not actually sure. I'm trying to desperately remember who Verde actually planted before in the movie. Like who he plants in the uh, battle. I'm say maybe it was no, it wasn't Oja because he shows up later. I think maybe it was uh, Impera. I don't know. I'm desperately to remember now. Yeah, no guard vent for you. Not like it would help you. I think you have just low enough health that I would still kill you even with your guard vent. I don't remember to keep skipping these. I keep waiting like a couple seconds uh, into them before skipping them. It's like, I don't need to see these. We get to see this like eight times. I don't need it. Huh? 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 
Yeah, maybe quick attacks are the way to go. Ow. Until you get shot. There we go. Let the moo cow rain down upon me. I don't I don't think he has a guard vent. I'm fairly sure he doesn't. I don't think he does. I'm pretty sure he has a strike vent. He's got shoulder cannon, the big gun. He's got the uh, advent card, final vent. I'm pretty sure that's all he's got. I think. Because I'm trying to think, but I think there's only like four or five characters in the game that have guard vents. Six, maybe, because I forgot about Ryuga. It's like Scissor has one, Ryuki and Knight has w have one. Uh, I think who else has one? Oh yeah, Odin has one. Ryuga has one, as I said. I think that might actually be X. Yeah, I because Oja doesn't have one. Oh, what? What's his grab? Ow! I guess I'm not finding out then. There we go. Of course, it'd be some pro wrestling bullshit. Considering his fucking, uh... Considering his fucking, uh, finisher, I wouldn't be surprised. Best said you don't actually see the chameleon's tongue wrap around his feet, uh, as he swings in. He just kind of swings into frame already with that around his feet. And then just cut uh, cut screen whenever it releases him. And here's the final stage. Knight. All right. Oh, shit. Ah. I see you have a lance. I have a yo-yo! Oh shit. I don't have a yo-yo anymore. That's okay, I'm just gonna punch you. You're gonna keep trying to, I think, grab me, maybe. But I'm still gonna be quicker. And that's it, Verde's completed. Verde. He looks a lot weirder now that I see his actual suit. I guess I shouldn't be surprised he is a giant chameleon, man. And we unlock no one for beating the game as him. But before we move on to the next character, let's go ahead and finish off our card collection, shall we? And pray I don't fuck anything else up. Or pray I don't fuck anything up as I do it. Because I probably wouldn't uh, wouldn't need so many if I uh, didn't mess up so many times. All right. Just four more. Final card. And with that, we've completed 100%. But not only that, we've unlocked a new character. Also, because this is done now, this mode is now permanently locked. But. But. Yeah, there we go. Collecting all the cards unlocks Knight Survive, who we'll be taking a look at later. And don't worry about it. Ryuki Survive is pretty easy to unlock. All you've got to do is just beat the game as uh, beat the game as Knight Survive, or beat Battle Mode as Knight Survive. We'll have a look at him later. 